You too. Welcome back to the Town Family Channel. Today, um, pretty busy day. Had to work, had to um, run errands. So I was able to put the roast beef in. It was a little overcooked, but it still came out delicious. Um, with the roast beef, I don't like too many spices other than just salt and pepper and butter and um, a little bit of olive oil. So it came out really nice and juicy. Let me just show you guys really quick. So it came out pretty juicy. And this was the brisket that I had. So, and then here, um, mm -hmm. I went to my restaurant real quick and I picked up some um, gumala and thalo and also some um, Bulumasima right here. So let me just kind of show you my plate. Right here, there's the brisket. There's the Bulumasima. Here's some um, cabbage, gumala, mm -hmm. and the taro right here. So anyhow, um, we're just going to eat. Uh, just, we're gonna kind of like talk about who we are. I know you guys have seen some of our videos, don't know too much about us other than um, what you see on our videos. But as you know, this is my husband, Donna. <laughs> he don't like talking much. And then this is Pale, he's our youngest. And then Charlie's on the other side. We don't want him in the camera. <laughs> Anyhow, so just wanted to go a little bit about our family. Um, the Newtown family was basically uh, created because of my children. They wanted to have a YouTube channel. And I was like, okay, whatever. And then it wasn't just my kids. It was also like my nieces and nephews who wanted to be a part of it and we all live really close by so because of that um we just kind of came up with a name um new town um new meaning coconut and um but where we're from in tonga is colorful o well at least my family is colorful o and so when you translate colorful O into English, it's Newtown, right? So that's my um, family. 
where they're from. And then Tana, he's from where, Tana? Tonga. <laughs> where are you from? Tonga. From Ava'u. From Ava'u. My husband's from an island called Vava'u in Tonga. And then he moved out of Vava'u like when he was 16 years old. I lived in a place called Kahoa. And then that's where I actually met him. My sister Vonnie had gotten married before me. She got married in 2006. She was introduced to her husband through um, her one of her friends and um, they had talked on the phone and then Bonnie went out to Tonga and met him and then they got engaged and then they got married in 2006. Well then after their wedding, I was the maid of honor. They got married like in June and then I went out to Tonga um, like at the end of June. Uh, just before the Heilala week. And so Heilala week is like the first week of July. So that's how it all went down. Like my my husband and Bonnie's husband, they were friends. And um, Bonnie actually knew Tana before I knew Tana. Because when you go and you, you're dating in Tonga, you don't just go by yourself with your boyfriend. You have to go with like one other person or three, four other people. That's how it was. So when Vonnie and Bonnie were dating, Donna was like a third wheel. And who else? You and Salesi. Mm -hmm. So there's two other guys. It was Donna and another guy um, who lives in New Zealand now. They were like the third and fourth wheel that went with Bonnie and Pale. So that's how my sister knew Tana. And then when I went out there, we had like a whole entourage of people wherever we went. Right? My husband was the driver and then we had like my um, my brother-in-law, Pale, he, he had a sister, her name's Kahlo. If you're watching Kahlo, shout out to Kahlo. Anyways, Kahlo and um, and her cousin and another friend named Fita. And then we had a bunch of guys that were from uh, Village Bahu. And I don't know, they were like, what were you guys called? There was a name for you guys. Was it the Leimana boys? That was these guys. That was these guys. Their city, Kahoa, was north of the temple, uh, the LDS temple in Liohona. Can and so they called them themselves the NTC boys. Who knows? I did not learn of any of this um, until after I got married to him. I didn't learn mm -hmm. a lot of things till after I got married to him. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, that is correct. So I went out there on a vacation and he's actually friends. He was friends with Moni's husband, Bale. So you guys saw the video, if you've been watching the video of Moni and Bale when they went to uh, Tonga. My husband was friends with him. That's how I met him. And then they called down. I went out to Tonga to visit. They called him to come and drive me, pick me up and take me Eva or sightseeing, right? Mm -hmm. So I had, um, my sister gave me a package and she had like clothes in it. And it was like for some of um, Bale's friends. He was one of the friends. And it had dicky like shorts and dicky hey. shirt and whatever. So I gave the pack package actually to uh, Bala's mom and then they gave it to him because he was in Vava'u at the time and then um, my sister she wanted me to go because like I went there for like it's called the Kolis Tutuku like a reunion for Liohona. She wanted me to go to uh, a dance like a ball and she wanted me to go with this guy 
right? Is that right? I didn't know about that. Oh, you got it. Anyway, she wanted me to go with this dude, right? But I was going with some other guy. Would you stop? Anyways, long story short, that's how I met my husband. He was wearing dicky pants, dicky shirt, dicky hat. Uh -huh. From head to toe. He wore the the stuff that I brought from America. That's what he wore the first day I met him. Right, hon? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what happened. He was my driver around in Tonga. Mm -hmm. And then, what did you do when I left the airport? When I was coming back to America, he was crying. No, I <laughs> when I was coming back to America, oh, okay. Donna came to the airport. And what did you come with, Donna? With a coconut. With what? With coconut. A box of coconut, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And he like went, did you climb the trees mm -hmm. to get the coconut? Mm -hmm. So I he climbed, climbed the up the trees to get the coconut. And then he went and packaged it and put it in a box and everything for me to come back with it to America. And then at this time, I did not know that my husband uh, liked me, but he was giving me the hints with coconut. the coconut. Coconut. <laughs> coconut. Okay. So coconut. <laughs> what coconut. did you do? When we went, can you kind of participate in our like story here? What did you do when I was leaving? How did how did I get your number? My mom went to something. I wrote it on me. No, that's that, not you're killing me. What did you do? You wrote it on what? On a piece of paper, and then what did you do? I'll the call. <laughs> <laughs> he put it, he wrote down his number on a piece of paper. And then when I went to say goodbye That's and shake his you. hand, he put the paper like this in my hand. Help! And he whispered, can you please call me in Tonkin? And I was like, all right, since you were my driver, I'll call you. <laughs> That's how it all happened. <laughs> and that's what happened. But it took, we dated for about 10,000 years. Two years. Five years. Before we even got married. And I had gone back to Tonga. So we met in 2006. I went back to Tonga in 2007. And then when I came back, from Tonga, then I decided to uh, put in for a fiance visa. And then uh, when we put in for a fiance visa, it yeah. took about eight yeah. months yeah. for it to get approved. And then he got, we got a letter um, from the immigration saying he has an interview in Fiji. I think it was like February. Then he went to Fiji, interviewed, he passed his interview. They processed his, um, his, what is it? Passport right away. And then he called me and told me he got it. And then I already had money set aside. So if he were to um, pass his interview, I'll pay for his ticket to come to America. Right? Mm -hmm. So then he came to America and then, um, then uh, he went and he stayed with his family, but he worked at our restaurant to save up, to help save up money for uh, our wedding. And then we got married. He got here March 5th, 2008, and we got married April 12th, 2008. And here we are. We have four boys. This is our youngest. And yeah. So, that's our story. I uh, just wanted to say thank you guys all for 
watching and subscribing to our channel. If you haven't subscribed and you enjoy the content, please give us a like and subscribe. It does help with the algorithm. And thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.